Hey guys, this is Poi and you are about to witness the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mystery Box. I know that everyone is excited, even me. So let's take a look and find out what's inside the box. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> it's bubble wraps! A lot of bubble wraps! Really? The new Xiaomi Mi Note 10? I mean the world's first 108 megapixel Penta camera setup and I can tell that it's heavy than the usual. Well, we'll talk about that soon. So first that comes out of the box, of course the phone, covered by plastic with some key features in it. Then the SIM ejector pin and some papers and this free black jelly case. Of course, for the protection of the glass back finish of the Mi Note 10. USB Type-C cable, a 30 watts, quick charge to power the phone. Here is it guys, but give me some time to experience this phone and I'll give you the best and honest review about the Mi Note 10. Hey guys, this is Poi. I have a phone here that a lot of people are excited about. The Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Why? Since this is the world's first 108 megapixel Penta camera setup, this phone is a game changer when it comes to mobile photography. But what about the rest of the package? You want to know more? Stay tuned and find out. It is finally official. Xiaomi is bringing its first 108 megapixel camera phone the Mi Note 10. It offers more optical options than nearly any other phone on the market. Starting off with the design, I can really say that the Mi Note 10 has a premium feel to it. It is aluminum frame with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on both front and back. It's got a big screen with a curved edge and a small dot drop notch. It's a little thick and heavy which is probably because of the massive battery, but the gripping of it feels great thanks to the ergonomic corners of the phone. On the top, we can find the noise cancellation microphone for loudspeaker and IR blaster which you can use to control appliances. The volume rocker and the power button are both on the top right of the device. The placement and textures are good. On the bottom right is a dual SIM card tray, meaning guys there is no expandable on the Mi Note 10. On the bottom are a USB Type-C port, a single firing loudspeaker, and also a 3.5mm jack. Yes, you've heard it, so fans of wired headphones must be glad. The sound of the speaker is decent and loud with enough bass and clear highs and mids, it does a great job. Let's move on to the Mi Note 10 6.47 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1080p. Expect to get a more dynamic blacks and balanced vivid colors. When it comes to media consumption, watching on a curved screen edge can give you a full screen display experience. This device gets under the display fingerprint scanner and face unlock. It is the latest optical fingerprint scanner and it's quite fast and accurate. The face unlock is also pretty quick. Thanks to AMOLED screen because you can also enable the always on display to give you the time and notifications. You can also customize it with some clean and awesome designs. The Mi Note 10 comes with a much larger battery than what we see on phones. A huge 5260 mAh battery that supports 30 watts fast charging. The phone managed to charge from 0 to 100 for about 65 minutes only. Very impressive for such a big battery, right? And the good thing here is that you will get the quick charger out of the box. With such a big battery, I easily got it to 2 days without charging the phone with my personal use. For the software, we got the newest MIUI 11. The good thing about the new MIUI 11 is the interface is clean, simple, and customizable. With the new dark mode, game turbo mode, and always on display personalization, it gives much more battery life and speed. Speaking of the Mi Note 10 cameras, on the back there are 5. Yes, a Penta camera setup. A x10 hybrid zoom camera, 12 megapixel x2 telephoto camera, a 108 megapixel main camera. Below this setup, there's a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel dedicated macro sensor. On the front facing camera, 
to get that 32 megapixel selfie shooter in the notch. Okay, I'm really excited to show you the samples, so let's get into it. All these photos were taken on the default camera mode which is 27 megapixel. Photos are actually quite pretty impressive when it comes to details. And since the sensor is large, we can get the benefit of natural bokeh effect. Portrait mode are great. It can capture a clear and sharp images. Subject background separation is good and quite accurate. The 32 megapixel selfie camera quite does a great job with natural vivid colors, a good dynamic range, and the portrait mode is also pleasing. And also shooting video on the front camera give you a detailed shot. This is the selfie or front camera na Moving on, there is the shot using the standard lens. Here's the times 2 optical zoom. And then this is the times 10 hybrid zoom. As you can see guys, the details in this image are still sharp. The Mino 10 also have a times 50 zoom. Yes, it's a bit blurry but I'm still happy to see this on a smartphone. Then there's the ultra wide angle camera. Dynamic range are pretty good, right? And of course, the dedicated macro lens. Here are a couple of macro shots I took from the phone. I like how close I can get to take some close-up shots. And here's a couple of shots at night using the default mode versus the night mode. Now to the main event of this phone, Samsung's partnership with Xiaomi brings innovation when it comes to mobile cameras. With the new ISOCELL Bright HMX sensor, this will capture an extremely high resolution photographs. Take a look at this photo shot on the Mi Note 10's 108 megapixel camera. The photos look great, it's pretty sharp and detailed. Plus, you can zoom in a lot, as you can see the details while zoom are still decent and visible. The Mi Note 10 can shoot up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. With electronic image stabilization, you can now capture a smooth videos without using any stabilizer or gimbals. You can also shoot videos using the ultra wide lens. I really love the new vlog mode that is added to the video mode in this phone. Basically shooting a 3 to 4 second clips in a sequence and it will automatically add a background music and transitions, making a high quality short video that you can share instantly. This mode really helps people who are into media posting and of course creators like me. And there you go guys, so what do you prefer? A higher end processor with a small battery life or a huge camera setup with a much bigger battery life? Comment down your top priorities when it comes to smartphones. But if you're into photography and looking for a camera smartphone, a decent curved screen for a better view, a good looking glass back design, a huge battery life that lasts for 2 days, the Mi Note 10 is perfect for you. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future video. Again, this is Poi and this is the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Thank you for watching. Naisu! Xiaomi.